Hello, this is Kara Thrasher Livingston with Senior and Disability Services. And I want to thank you for attending our on demand webinar about getting your technology ready for Harmony. You may have heard about the Harmony system uh, being a provider or potential provider of home and community based services and or personal care services in Alaska through the Alaska Medicaid system. Um, this presentation will help you understand uh, more about getting ready for Harmony and some steps that you can take uh, prior to actually having um, access to the Harmony system. We'll have some general hints and tips, best practices and suggestions. Um, stay tuned for instruction about Harmony and computer requirements. Uh, if you're a provider, you'll have specific training that you'll be required to, uh, to undertake for Harmony. But this training is about what you can do now or just things to know to be ready to use Harmony. If you have already filled out a critical incident report online using the centralized link, you have actually already used Harmony Phase 1. Uh, Harmony is Phase 2, entry into the Harmony system to enter client data, uh, such as a care coordinator or other provider would do an, a PCS administrator, for example, or long-term care staff will upload documents and do planning within the Harmony system for um, each particular client. Uh, when you're using Harmony, it's important to know a few basics, and that's what we're here to talk about today. It's a non-technical training for those of us who are just thinking about their computer and how we're actually going to um, configure it so it can use Harmony. Okay, so first things first, when you're going to use Harmony, you're going to use a desktop computer or a laptop. You're not going to use a phone or a tablet. Harmony is not built for use on mobile technology. Um, it will open new windows and screens to navigate within it. These are hard to see, very difficult to work with for phones and tablets and keep track of. So desktop or laptop is the way to go. Um, here are some hints and tips about the internet and computers. Computers have an operating system called the OS, which just means operating system. The operating system in any computer gets updated pretty often. Um, it happens when the computer is connected to the internet. You can set your computer to get these updates when you're not using it. You can set it to get them anytime. You can get them in the middle of the night if you want. Um, however, if you choose to not get these updates, sometimes uh, people choose to not receive them because it kind of makes the computer work different or they're thinking they want to delay the updates because they're busy now and things like that. If we let that build up over time and you're not getting your updates, your computer will likely be unable to open certain common documents and to play videos or sounds and things like that through time. If you don't get these updates, eventually your computer might crash a lot. Eventually, the, the operating system will get old and the company that developed it and created it will discontinue it. They will make a new operating system and they will invite its users to update to that new one. Uh, newer documents and websites are not built to be able to be opened by old operating systems. Believe it or not, a computer and an operating system that's two or more years old may not have enough space, meaning memory on it, to handle updated or new operating systems or even some websites and other applications. If you are not able to see or open websites or documents, your operating system may not be able to open them or you might not have current software. So generally plan to update your operating system and make a plan for updating your computers, getting a new one, or perhaps increasing the memory of the ones you have and things like that. Um, in your webinar, you'll see a spot to download our training guides and materials. I want you to go ahead and look at that and click on that download link and go ahead and get yourself the, uh, the download. Um, if it doesn't work for some reason, you can always email us and we'll send you one. It's sdstraining at alaska.gov. In the document, you'll see a couple of terms that are talking about Harmony and how it works with uh, different operating systems. The word certified in the document means that Harmony works best on that system. The Harmony developers have certified that a system is going to work great with Harmony and the other way around. If you have another setup, Harmony may still work, but you won't get all the features of it. Um, so you want to consider using the one that is a certified system. When it says supported, what it means is that there are workarounds that are available for common problems. However, eventually the workarounds will not work and you'll need to update your system and or your software to what is uh, what Harmony works with currently.
So this is a page from the book and it just is talking about the uh, certified system requirements. The operating system is going to be Windows 7, 8.1 or 10 and the browser is going to be Internet Explorer 11. And it has other information about your processor, your computer's uh, RAM and screen resolution and things like that. Um, go ahead and get that booklet because there's a whole lot more information in there for you and or a uh, person who may be helping you with your computer to get ready for Harmony. I get a lot of questions about do I have to have a PC or a Mac? You could actually have either one. A PC usually has a couple browsers on the computer when you purchase it. Um, Mac usually has Safari. PC sometimes has Internet Explorer or maybe Firefox or something like that. Uh, Harmony is built to work with Internet Explorer. So no matter what operating system you use, you can go ahead and go to the Internet and download the most current version of Internet Explorer. Um, you do not have to use Internet Explorer for all your business needs. You could use it only when you work in Harmony or file a critical incident, for example. Uh, on the using the centralized link. So two ways you can get ready. You can download Internet Explorer. You can set it to update regularly. You can turn its pop-up blocker off at least when you're using Harmony or filing a critical incident report. You can find directions on our main web page or in the guide that you can download right from this uh, this presentation about how to turn a pop-up blocker off. You can also simply search on the internet for that for that information. Um, you should also download or update the Adobe Free Acrobat Reader. Um, when you do that, watch out for the optional offer, offers. If you don't want them, just uncheck them. Sometimes it's easy to miss that when you're downloading the Free Acrobat Reader, uh, but you can just go to get.adobe.com slash reader. Um, PDF documents are part of what get generated through reports in Harmony, so you will be wanting to use Adobe Acrobat Reader to read them. Um, if you're a Mac user or use other operating system, you may be able to see all parts of the Harmony site, but you won't get all the functionality. If you're a Mac user, you may not be able to see or save all the fillable fields in a PDF document by for example, make sure to get the most recent download of Adobe Acrobat Reader. The free download works just fine. Um, your sign-on process in order to be provisioned into the My Harmony system needs to be secure. As you can imagine, the My Har the Harmony, I'm sorry, the Harmony website is a secure system. As you can imagine, uh, there's lots of private information in there. My Alaska is going to be your sign-on uh, authentication of your identity in order to get access to the Harmony website. Um, because it has so much privacy, private information in it and you can share documents with private information in it um, on behalf of your clients, you will use less uh, direct secure messaging when interacting with senior and disability services. However, you will still need to use direct secure messaging when you're interacting with other entities that are getting private information or sharing private information in between entities on your client's behalf. Um, you'll still need to use DSM. So a secure sign on to Harmony means that you will go through My Alaska. You will create a, a My Alaska account or perhaps use an existing My Alaska account that you have. Uh, most of us are familiar with My Alaska because we use it uh, for our PFD in Alaska. However, you do not have to use your PFD related My account. You can use a new My Alaska account. Uh, you can create as many as you need. You can get a new one just for this purpose to establish your identity, to verify your identity by the My Alaska administrators, and then SDS will give you access to the actual My Harmony our actual Harmony live site. It's just called Harmony. My Alaska is the secure one and My Harmony is also secure and it, it requires your authentication of your identity through My Alaska. Okay, other interesting things about the internet, uh, bookmarks, uh, make a habit of searching the internet for a website that you've bookmarked. If you don't, the bookmark often will go to a uh, version of that website that existed on the day that you made that bookmark. It's called a cached site. You won't see any new pages or forms. Um, you, if you're using an old forms right now, you might need to update your bookmarks. Okay. Um, software are programs or applications that enable your computer to open certain documents or do certain things. They're think they're they used to come on a disk, but now people just down download them from the internet. Uh, sometimes software is used within what they call the 
the cloud. It's more like an application that you download from the internet and you get a monthly fee to access it on the cloud. So you get like an icon on your computer that means that you can access that, uh, that application. Um, there are many free software downloads that are common and safe. Adobe Acrobat is one of them. Uh, the Harmony website is an actual website is not actually software that you download onto your computer. You'll be given secure access to it through your account on MyAlaska that you establish and then you'll get um, permission to access the Harmony website. Okay, some ultra basics. You might already know these, but we do get questions about them. Um, something about email addresses uh, to know. It's good to have a professional email address that's easy to remember. We suggest use your name or your business name as part of it. Uh, you should know how to use email that accepts, accepts attachments. You should know how to clean out your inbox and how much you can store in your email. Sometimes uh, we try to send emails out but the inbox is full and the person doesn't know how to clean it out, doesn't understand why they're getting, uh, they're not getting emails from us. So basics about your email system, you should know those. You should know how to open email messages with attachments and how to save documents and give them names that are a filing protocol that you establish. Um, you should be able to find documents within your computer because you've named them in a way that you can remember and you have a, 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 a way of doing that, which you call a protocol. You should know how to attach documents to email messages. You should know how to open, read, modify, and save changes to documents in the most current versions of Microsoft Word or OpenOffice and Adobe Acrobat Reader. You should have basic working knowledge of protected health information and how to work with digital and paper documents under HIPAA rules. And you should have basic knowledge of working with secure websites that require you to create a unique username and password. More suggestions for email. If you have a Hotmail or AOL email address, SDS might not be able to send you email. Webinars might not work. We suggest that you establish a new professional email with another service. Um, make sure that your email address is professional and doesn't refer to uh, more than one specific person. If you need to use inbox, an inbox, you could say inbox or something like that. So the sender knows that where they're sending their email to. Um, if you have an old college email address such as .edu, um, in our experience those have ended. Um, there might be a year in which it will end. So unless you have absolute guarantee that you'll use that uh, without any problem of it ending, um, you want to establish a new, new uh, email address that you can keep for yourself. Um, just make sure also that your email address conveys professional respect and is free of words that people could misconstrue or misunderstand or somehow consider disrespectful. Okay, so your guide, you should download the materials from this webinar. Uh, click on the download icon. If you don't, if you are unable to download it, email us at sdstraining@alaska.gov and request a copy. You can also ask questions within the webinar. If you click on the little bubble um, to ask a question, just give us a day or two to get back to you. Uh, this is a recorded webinar, but we do collect your questions and we're happy to answer them um, when we receive them. Uh, in your materials, there's a link to actually test your computer system to see if it is compatible with our webinars. Um, since you're in this website, then we know that it is, but in case you want to share it or keep it on file, you can actually test it using a link in your downloaded materials. Um, okay, I want to thank you so much for spending time with us to know more about getting your technology ready for Harmony. This is Kara Thrasher Livingston with the training team here at Senior and Disability Services. Thanks again and email us anytime at sdstraining at alaska.gov.